Hello, welcome to my review. Today we're reviewing character brand Daphne and the Skeleton Man from the Scooby-Doo series. Uh, this is series one. They just came out at Walmart from what I've seen. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Uh, they'll run you $7 for a two-pack, uh, which is a really good deal. Um, depending on if you like Scooby-Doo or not, I do. So, obviously, I went ahead and got them. Um, for the box, you have a nice box, especially for a $7 toy. I would have expected them to be card-backed with just the plastic bubble. But uh, they did a really good job on... Uh, on these, I get the, the warning, and there you go, there, and back here you get a write-up, and all the other products that they're offering, get a write-up on the characters, which is pretty neat, they put a lot of care into that for seven bucks, um, oh, one thing I didn't mention in the last review on these, you should be careful when you pick yours up in the paint apps. Um, seven bucks, they didn't take a lot of time to make sure the paint apps were perfect, which really shouldn't be a big complaint. I mean, it's seven dollars for two figures, so um, it is what it is. But, uh, you yeah, know, there's a few things I did notice. All right. Let's start off with the Skeleton Man. On mine, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, you get, I don't know, I don't even know what that is. Um, it's, there's some blemishes. It looks like some of the paint might have rubbed off and you're seeing the blue. But then, of course, I got sprue mark there, which is not the greatest looking thing but like I said it was seven bucks I mean how many complaints can you have um, I, that I let that slide easily uh, now for articulation you have a head turn uh, one thing I want to mention is for the villains that come with the scooby-doo figures I think this one has the most articulation out of all of them um, which it would have been nice if all of them would have had this. But again, $7, two figures. Um, I'm not going to complain. But you do get a head swivel. Mm -hmm. You could do 360. Uh, you get a shoulder jo uh, joint swivel all the way around. You get... Appears to be a full 90 degree at the elbow. Eh, same on the other elbow. On the leg. He it comes up that far. And at the knee. It appears you get that much. Okay. Really cool designs on this guy. This uh, reminds me of some vintage toys or something. It's really neat. Now, for Daphne, her head doesn't move too far. And one of the things I noticed on mine, which you may or may not be able to see, but she has a blemish right under here so these are things that I would recommend paying attention to when you're purchasing yours is uh, those little blemishes and if you can pick out one that uh, suits you best now this was the only Daphne skeleton man that they had available uh, in the store um, they had doubles of the rest but this was the only Daphne uh, so I went ahead and got it. I'm not really going to complain too much. Because uh, I like the figure still. And I also have this one. So if it bothered me that much, then I have a secondary. 
Um, yeah, uh, the head doesn't move too much, and that's due to her hair, uh, which they did a nice job sculpting, in my opinion. Uh, you see the paint apps for the hairband there, and they did a good job on the scarf. Now, uh, her arms go back, swivel that far there, and you're going to get that much back because of her hair. And they almost get a 90 degree at the elbow there. Then they go straight out. Uh, she does have a waist swivel. And she can do a full 360. Uh, not much for the thigh joint. Uh, you aren't going to get much movement. There is articulation there, but because of the dress, it hinders it. Uh, for the knee, you're going to go up that far, so she gets about a 90 degree angle there. In comparing her to my older Daphne, which I got from Toys R Us a couple of years ago, um, I like them both. I think I do favor this mold from this mold because of the face sculpt. I think they did a really good job on her face sculpt when you compare the two. I also like her scarf better. Um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, if you see my review of uh, Thelma, Thelma, um, the feet, they're more petite now. She had pretty big clawed hoppers before. Now they've slimmed them down a little bit. Um, doesn't really affect the standing. She stands well. So that is my review on Daphne and the Skeleton Man. I recommend picking these up. Um, seven dollars. You can't, you can't beat that for seven dollars. Seven dollars. That's a pretty, that's a really good deal.